Hey Pixar fans, Dan Taylor from DanThePixarFan.com here, and while much of the Mattel Lightyear toys are hitting Walmart and Target stores here in the U.S. this weekend, there's still more coming in future waves, and new reveals seem to be popping up daily still. So today I'm sharing all the previously unrevealed items here that I've never talked about before, and we'll be covering essentially all the main categories within Mattel's Lightyear toy line, which includes the Hyperspeed series, the 5-inch scale action figure collection, the large scale assortment, Hot Wheels, and role play toys. Okay, ready? Let's dive in. First up, starting with Mattel's hyperspeed collection of small scale vehicles, the one update I have for you here today is this XL01 and XL15 Starfighter 2 pack, which will be coming soon. So, yes, these two ships have already been released in single packs currently available, but the vehicles in this set are different because one, it includes a tripod cannon with firing missile that can be mounted underneath either of the two ships or stand on its own. And two, the XL01 has battle damaged deco. Not sure if there will be any other differences between the ships in this two pack and the single pack versions, but this set will definitely be worth picking up for the firing missile feature alone and exclusive paint deco. Switching over to Mattel's Lightyear 5-inch scale action figure collection, next we have this Recruits to the Rescue figure 4-pack. Now, this pack is mostly made up of the same figures that are available as single packs as well. However, it gives us our first look at the Darby Steel figure, which I don't think I've seen as a single pack release yet. So, I don't know if he'll be an exclusive to this set or also be released on a single card as well, so we shall see. Either way, this is a good starter pack for the 5-inch range, and I'll be excited to see what the packaging is themed like. Next up, sticking with the 5 inch figure collection, check out this Space Ranger Defense Pack coming soon. We got that weird looking crab creature, which makes for a great world building accessory. Buzz comes with a red blaster, which I don't believe is in any other set. And then Izzy Hawthorne has some green goo on her leg. The actual Alpha Suit Buzz figure seems to be the same as the single pack one, but we'll see. Super sick set though, either way. Now the last 5 inch scale item I have here to share today is this Lightyear base utility vehicle, which I'm really excited about. I love vehicles in these types of lines, so again, this is perfect for building out the world of Lightyear, either for play or display. It seems like it has some really cool features, and check out this shot. This is almost the entire initial group of core figures, deluxe figures, and vehicles, all of which are part of Mattel's Lightyear 5 inch scale line, and it's absolutely fantastic. I love seeing them all together like this. All right, next category, moving on to Mattel's large-scale Lightyear assortment. The only update I have today is that Hawthorne is coming soon to the assortment as well, joining Buzz in his different suits, Zerg, and the Zyclops. I don't have any packaged photos yet, but this is one to keep a lookout for in the coming weeks and months. Now switching over to the Mattel Hot Wheels category, how cool is this Buzz Lightyear Hyperloop track set? I love a good track set as a Pixar Cars diecast collector. I really appreciate how fun track sets can be since I've played with a fair amount of them and Mattel always does a solid job making them unique and giving them wild and fun gimmicks. This looks no different. Um, love the theming and looky here, Lightyear Hot Wheels character cars are coming and this shot gives us our first look at the Buzz one which does come with the track set and ones based off of Zerg, Socks, and a Zyclops. And for the last category, we're moving along to roleplay and games now. Here we have this previously unseen Mission Pal Socks, which is a basic talking plush. Let me be clear that this is not the Socks feature plush, which was revealed a couple months back. It's similar, but this one does not have any moving parts. There's no mouth animation. It's just your basic plush with sounds when you squeeze his paw. Really cute though. I'm sure there's going to be many versions of Socks out there to buy, so you'll have to see which one is your favorite. And then for these last two roleplay items, I did already reveal them and talk about them a little bit in a previous video, but I now have some additional shots of them, including them in their packaging. And um, that would be this Mission Gear utility belt, which seems really well done. I love that little fuel cell that you can remove and store. And then of course the Laser Blade DX electronic light up weapon, which is already hitting stores now, so be on the lookout. This also seems like a really cool item that kids are totally gonna need after seeing the film. And yes, obviously it is lightsaber inspired, but it's cool and fun in its own way nonetheless. And check it out, there's even a place to attach it to the utility belt, which is an excellent touch. And really quick, Mattel is releasing a Lightyear inspired Uno game, so be on the lookout for that as well coming soon. Lastly, I have one offshoot item here that I don't even think is made by Mattel, but I wanted to show you guys here anyway, and that's this Lightyear Starship steering wheel, an electronic game, I guess you could call it, um, with interactive challenges or space missions. This seems really neat. I think that kids are going to dig this. 
Well, everyone, that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed and hope that these toy news update videos have been helpful for everyone keeping track of all the light your toy releases out there. As usual, I can't wait to hear your thoughts down in the comments. Be sure to like and subscribe for more Pixar toy news, reviews, and toy hunts. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you all in my next video.